Hey guys, Google India today released two of their brand new Chromebooks, one from Zolo and one from Nexion. They also announced two more. One will be from Samsung, another will be from Asus. They are not released today, the price is not confirmed, but they will be available in July. And we have the Asus one right here for you. It's called the Asus Chromebook Flip. It's not as big as the ones that were released today, meaning the Nexion Air or uh, the Zolo one. This one has a smaller screen, a 10 inch screen, it also has a touch screen. Uh, but apart from that, most of the other spec processors and RAMs and all should be identical. So let's take a close look at the Chromebook Flip. So first thing first, this guy is almost all metal and it feels beautiful. Matte finish, aluminum on the back as well as on the front here. When you open the Chromebook, inside the same thing you would see in brushed action. So this gives the whole Chromebook a very premium feel and look you see metal and, and despite of being all metal and glass it's actually not that heavy you see that asus branding there chrome nothing much here here you have the power in and then your volume rocker and the power button there a micro hdmi port two usb ports and then a micro sd card slot you also have a microphone jack here behind at the bottom actually you have both the speakers but i'm really skeptical about how the sounds gonna come out when you specifically you know place this on uh, let's say your bed or somewhere where that's not exactly a flat surface and the speaker might not have space for the sound to come out you'll have to test that the 10 inch capacitive touchscreen supports multi-touch input and it's actually quite smooth and seamless you can see there you go. So this guy is powered by a ROC chip 3288 chipset which has a 1.8 gig quad core CPU. It also should have 2 GB of RAM and 16 GB of storage. But the final spec sheet is not with us so I'm going to take that with a pinch of salt. That 16 GB of storage can be utilized by the apps here. You can see you can go to the Chrome store and then you can filter the apps according to the apps that can run offline. So now all these apps can actually be run offline and can be utilized with those 16 GB internal storage. Let me show you the keyboard here which is the keys feel very very nice an island style keyboard also has proper space between them gives good enough feedback and they have a rubber coating on top so they're not going to attract your oil and greases that much the trackpad around here is also uh, it's pretty small but has proper tactile feedback at both the mouse places now you can actually flip this to make it a tablet and that's why it's called chromebook flip and the moment you flip it and come to the tablet form factor the physical keys here gets deactivated and, and you see automatically um, the touch keyboard gets activated. So that's one of the good things and of course that's helpful. Once you're in the laptop mode, now if you want to write anything, you see the virtual keyboard won't pop up because now it's in the Chromebook or the laptop mode. So uh, it's going to be available in July, the Asus Chromebook Flip. We do not know the price yet, but it looks quite promising. Thank you.